So, today I have been building, yes, but that is what I built, a very weird, funny game. It's all about trying to drive along a weird road, and it's in a loop. It's all one road, and it splits, so you look at the lane, you drive up there, but here, look, it splits. So you can either go up there, round, round, like that way, or you can just go up there. Or down there, up there, and just go wee. The other one's a little bit different. It goes round, round there, all the way round, down there, shooting down there, comes down into five lanes before turning right, going across, tilting a little bit round, back into one lane, going all the way down, but joins back together and goes a big loop, and then back to the start. It starts here, so there's one more and a G and. Really, if you're being careful, if you can fall off the actual road, but you can't fall off the map because this um, part here, like the base break, will never actually ever fall off. Well, yeah, the thing is, I slowed it down, but it's 30 too slow. Yes. Now I'm going to go into the Jeep. Right, configurations. The speed can probably be 50. Now it was at 80, but then I got it got way the throttle was way too much for the road. So let's just change it to this throttle is quite powerful, but it's not very. So you can also lose grip. So you can drive all the way up here now. I've tested all this with 80 and what that's gonna work and the great thing about the Jeep is it will climb really steep so we will do that now here I tested with the 80 but I did end up down there with one bit so this is the this is probably the bit that I probably want to test first because that will gain you a lot of speed I <laughs> that didn't work and plus the Jeep won't respawn Annoyingly. What the hell happened to my antenna? My Wi-Fi antenna is not really look really weird. Ugh. What? I can't even get up there. Oh yeah, I can. Yay. Are you seeing me out there quicker? Around 30 miles an hour. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering how I actually made this road, it's a plug-in, which I also will show you, because we might make this road, you know, this road game, have multiple... No. No! <laughs> That's not happening today. This car, this needs to have... I mean, it climbs up really well, but it skids. And that's not what you want for... Yeah, we're picking up speed level at 60 mile an hour. Right, you can make it all the way down. It is possible. We've tested that. We need to do two laps. We need to test the next bit. Also, that's a really steep. I just did like 66 or so, I swear. About to restart, but... I need to do it all again. Oh. Yeah, that's quite steep. Right, we need to go up here now. Up to the, I think that's is that this is actually the highest. Oh, there's that as well. That goes high, but I think I actually tried to make that so it goes exactly the same height. <gasps> this is tilted. God, this is probably the hardest one. I mean, is that one? oh, oh no, oh. No. Damn you. <laughs> Yay! This is probably the easiest bit. Going across like this. Because it's so you can spread yourself out. Oh, 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 oh. And you can go across and down here. And nearly fall off if you wish to. Um. 
Yeah, what if this was in real life? I would want to get down here very quickly. But we know from as soon as you join that. It's possible! Yay! I never managed to fall off. Woohoo! DROP! <laughs> that, that's probably the stupidest part actually. Nice door. So that is actually possible. It's all possible. It's a nice test for the game. Crazy road. Because it, it is pretty crazy. And you see, I'll, I can make another... I'm going to make another road. Now... It's almost like a cart ride game, you could say. Because it... It's like, it's like that's the cart, and it's going around the track. But it's a road. Now really, this plugin isn't supposed to be for this kind of stuff. It's more like this plugin is supposed to be like for driving games, and I've got a driving game that's created with this plugin. That's steep, actually. <laughs> I I haven't thought, but actually, that's pretty steep. Yeah, that's going up though. That's not as bad if it's going up. I want to try that going down. A bit hard. Let's try it going down. That'd be really cool. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you go really slowly up here, look. Now for the turnaround. Um. Whoa! 71 mile an hour! That's the fastest this one's ever done it. I let 50 mile an hour. Limit. There's also that as well, the bank, the bank road. And you do always have to go around that way, um, this way. I mean, you probably you could go um, around that way, but I don't think you get the same feel, would you? What I love is it's pretty much smooth if you look at it. It's like a smooth turn rather than a jaggedy turn. What was that? <laughs> That's our Christmas song. Yeah. I mean, I could even. Do you like a tutorial on like a, or, yeah, it's quite easy to make a crazy road. Like, you'd like, show you how to make proper roads with this plugin. And anyway, I mean, I haven't even shown you how this plugin works. That's what it's called. That's what it's, that's what it's saying. I'm not, I'm not really leaving it until I'm going to load up that base plate. So if we press that, it will keep this. But it will also load up for the new base plate. Now, also, I'm just going to save a, a file. But it will load us for the new base plate. Oh, what? Right, so I'm going to show you very simple things with what you can do and actually I'll be using two or three plugins. So obviously there's the road plugin, but also to do this is you would probably want, and actually this is all pretty much one plugin I think, these, no that and that, I think all one plugin. And it's called the plugin is plug. Oh no, um, I don't need that. But magic plugin, sorry. 
the book you need is that one and obviously the oh that's the words of encouragement that's the people weather systems come on where are you uh, I think that's it yeah beautiful roads look you can see it there it's not really it's not really clear but beautiful roads and road accessories road accessories is believe it or not made by 22 pilots the creator of ultimate driving which is why it's good but we're talking about beautiful roads now to start your road let's see going to beautiful roads so this is the plugin you've got loads of different things delete lanes that's pretty obvious it, and i don't know what render options does i haven't had a look at that or road textures I mean, the main ones I'm going to be using today, pretty much, are these. This is like an estate one, like a raised thing. And this one, not so much. Hopefully, this one, not so much. I don't have any mistakes. The first thing you need to do to start your road is create a node. Now, you press that, and it will bring you this so this and also and you notice this picture here so this one is it's called lane you've got the no, two nodes now you move that around to the start of your new road so at first I'm gonna have just a small road I'm not really this isn't really like a real game it's just gonna be a, like an almost like a tutorial on how to do it or maybe Put some stuff together as well though and to make this go right to the edge of that really you've got to have half of it off the map half of it on because the road goes the build road only goes up to halfway because the road before that like, goes up to the other halfway so it's a little bit with only having half of it there the road will go perfect so we put the node there let's just make that level out with a stud that was about there part of the stud so we have that. This is our lovely node. So to make another node, because there are multiple nodes on the other one, you press this one. If you press that one, it'll go behind it. And then that brings you another node. Now with this node, you can place it, say there. Let's place it there. Then you can either do render all, which will um, re-render all of your um, rows you've built, or just render changed. So render change, or just render what you just did. Render all renders it entirely. I do usually re use render changed, and that and render all do the same thing because it's the first one it gives you a nice little road. Now if you move that forward and not do anything, it responds to that. But and you want multiple nodes. You don't just want one straight. Oh, it's gonna be straight. Let's do loads of that. Let's do not no, just two nodes for each end. You don't want that, and I'll show you later why. So let's do that again. Now, you go across that. To make a corner, you then could turn it, you could rotate it like that, and then move it where you want the corner to end, and then it will make a corner that it will turn it. Now, not all roads have two lanes, do they? Now, this is not actually to do with that. That is different. Let's do that. That's better. Now, how you do that is you still extend your road like that and put it like that. But you see these buttons? They add lanes on. Like that. And then you think if you do render change, it only does that. Which may look a bit strange. Now how you stop this from happening is you go on to new lane. Now you select a node, which is one of these things. Select the starting node, so select that starting node. I want it to curve out like that. Node selected. And then you have to select another node. 
that. Uh, it doesn't do anything until you do render change or render all. And you can do that. Now, render changed. There's your new lanes. It looks a bit odd, which is why I'm also going to show you how to fix that. So we'll have a split out. Edit lines. Now that has loaded little poles where the lines are. You can click on one. Load preset, invisible, solid white. So it's solid white, it could be that. Dashed white, solid yellow, dashed yellow, invisible, there's nothing there. And you can do it to that. Invisible, you can do it to that. Invisible, do it to that. Invisible, render changed. Oh, I just rendered it all. And then it's, you've got that, that kind of thing. Sometimes things like that could happen. But things afterwards is it remembers you just changed those lanes. But you probably say you want dash white there. Well, it's just got big lanes. Big, two lots of big lanes. So you do edit lines. It's still lines there, they're just invisible. And you change them to oh, suicide lane. Cool. Dash white. Change them both to dash white, render changed. They will do that. And now you've got your, your lovely little four lane road. Though at first was a two lane road. Now that's quite simple. Now you've got to think about junctions as well. Junctions are still quite simple but not as simple as the corners and things so and it's also the reason why you need to know the, or the many nodes because if you look and um, the, the line changes only went up to the nodes I mean that's done another, another lot of lines because remembering the I did that But the junctions, unless you want a very odd looking junction, you have to, and you can, you can move the nodes like that and then you have to do render change and you should do some, you'll do it. Do it. So to create a junction, you have to create the, the road, the, uh, the other road that's joining to, to the road by making another node and putting that to it. And now for me, that's got to be like, half into it like that and I'd say you'd put it in between the nodes like that you put the nodes so they box it in like that now this you can extend normally like get that mix the road now this bit you've got to sort out so you go to edit lines and you see the line going across there as an actual node I click, that's the road plugin line. It's the actual um, bold thing, and that's this line. And you change that to invisible, and even change this one if you want to invisible. Render changed, and it'll give you a nice junction. An intersection, but you still have that. Now, if you want traffic lights, you don't need this plugin. You can use the plugin, this plugin for the roads. If you want stuff like traffic lights, you go into the traffic the thing. Now, this traffic lights is quite, it can be quite confusing. So you create a traffic signal, and then you create, create new. How many directions have you got? Well, three directions, you press that. Now you confirm the direction. Confirm if you press. And that's also another direction. And you've got to remember which order. So you did that way, that way, and then shift in R to rotate 90. Normal R will only rotate 5 degrees. And then you say confirm direction so it goes like 1, 2, 3. Clockwise, simple. So now, I think, I can't do that. I mean, for if you to add this, actually, you need to have the poles all first. 
poles. So choose which pole. I want these poles for now. And then you should either press Z to shorten it or X or C to longer, longer lengthen it. Z, C, Z. <laughs> That's so short you can have it like that. You can actually have it that small. That's weird. We'll just start from there. Anyway, so I'm going short now. I think it can go literally as long as you, as you want it to. What? 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 You want all that long? I think it can literally go as. I'm just pressing Z key loads of times. Right, so if we want that, we own, we can have it here. Just do it shift, rotate it like that. No, we can do we still want it like that, and then extend it. I want it like that. So you place them, you still have to add poles on each one, so you, like, you could do... Keep adding more poles and everything. What? Oh, I'm pressing control. That's why. Yeah, when you start rotating with 5 degrees, it's really irritating. Sometimes you only want a 90 degree. Still very cramped bits, aren't they? <laughs> very cramped, but still, it'll work. So direction one. Now this is direction one. So I think it's all the ones going in. Now this thing of these. Yeah, you can have loads. Of, if you press add in the direction one, you have loads of different opportunities, things to choose. So. What one I would like, probably, is one like this, or like that. Four sections protected, four section inverted T protected, right. So you see, the, what is the difference between that one and that one? <laughs> and what's the difference between that one and that one? That's by mode you'll put it in permission right and that's just section protect right. I'm just gonna have one of those in the wrong lane <laughs> to go that way I think that means you can either you can go in any of those directions you want but yeah you won't go forward that way that's a 40R that's weird and you only need one Direction two, which was going through that way, you go across it. These are the, this is the traffic light for direction two. Pretty simple. Now, then you have direction three. Now, which traffic light do you reckon we, I should choose for direction three? Because you can't go forwards. You've got to go either left or right. Alexa, any new notifications? One new notification from Amazon Shopping to Diane, a shipment has arrived. Now we could just be very simple and have, oh that's flashing yellow, you don't want flashing yellow, it's just one normal. We could just have that and then one the other way, very simple. Now sensors, we put them in but they're a nightmare to put in, so instead of putting sensors, I just put auto cycle and then you can just exit off and I think that will work. But first, before we do anything, I'm just going to go into toolbox, grab a Jeep, so we actually have a car to work with. Oh, jeeps, a car, so you have a, you have something to work with, you have a vehicle, and then also I would have, I would put in a sport bike. Let's play the game. Now we've got our lovely traffic lights here. Now, 
if we wait, oh, wait, oh yeah, they go super fast. Yeah, we can, we can turn, look, yay! But if we go there, I think you'll find they will eventually turn green. Those traffic lights. Uh, yay, they turn green, and the other one, and that's red, and that's red because they will go that way and they'll stop causing collisions, yay! And that is how you do traffic lights. That plug in, and this road plug is pretty cool. Oh, but I don't think I've really shown you what the this. Oh, I've shown you a bit about doing that with the new lane, but there's something else cool about the new the new lane. So if I then get an extra nut create node so let's put that now i'm gonna make like a cool intersection type thing a bit like the one we just made actually no i don't need to make the intersection for the tutorial but see so now if i just make that and don't add an extra one or anything like that now i can go to new line if i select that to there and that to there, you'll just see if I really changed, it will just literally do that and it will make that because it's the two lanes that are together. Now I'm wondering where I put these lanes. Well, if I just make it more, because that's doing, I'm just gonna extend that out a bit. I'm gonna extend that out a bit. So and then create a node then how do you because uh hello, is there any node, any node? Is there any node? Right, so you think, well you can't, you can add lanes, you can't take away lanes, can you? Well, the reason how you can make one ways is you press one of these two and it will get you one, you delete that, and then you have a single one. So with this single one, you can rotate and it will work just as, like a normal, it will work just like a normal one where instead of, also you have to it don't have the grey bit it just has the green and red bit and then you end up change you'll make a little lane cool little lane and, um, look at the junctions here now I'm gonna get another one of those green nodes and make a lane Make a lane, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna turn that 90 and make that do that. And then I'm gonna go backwards for that and I've render change and go backwards again because that works best. Now I'm gonna join those two together so they come and split. But then you, th and how do you do that? Use the new lane and you join them like that. Friend changed, and as you can see, they've been joined. And that road still carries on. But I didn't use an extra, a new node for that because you can't take off lanes. And that is pretty simple. Now, how I made the very wiggly road come on this fella is I basically just use the nodes as normal but I just twisted some nodes at angles and it's also pretty simple to go up and down hills it's the same way before so if I grab this new road here and I want it to be up there if I do that, I select it, and then I select the thing. Well, I can make, I can do that, and I can also pull it up there. And if I do that, when it change, you've got your little hill. Very clever. But it's still smooth. Thing is, the smooth though, it's hard to make land around it. That's the only problem with this plugin, is it's hard to make land around it because it's smooth. 
but if this plugin is ideal if you want to make flat simple landscapes but even with um, doing that you can get make very effective landscapes just for this plugin now I want to have a look at the road textures Ooh. so what happens if you click on it or oh, I think concrete or oh, and default edit this preset oh god I think that is changing the roads type like you can make it gravel or all sorts of things that's that that's pretty cool and this delete lane so, so if you so you get rid of that it won't do anything to you you won't change and it will go and it's pretty small obviously I do that again nope that failed it, I, that wasn't a node I clicked on because I was going to click on it and then I missed it and then all the actual roads are in here oh what that, 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 that's a different plugin. That's not anything to do with roads. It's a road coaster plugin. So these are all the roads, look. All the lanes. Individual lanes. I don't know why they're numbered rather than saying lane, 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 but I guess that's because that's all lane, lane, lane. That they were, that's all the nodes. And you've got those things. And if you look inside one of them, like. If you look inside. That one looks very weird. Um, that one look also looks very weird. What about this one? No. This one. No, let's pick a random one. This one. Now this looks really cool. Like how do you make it smooth? You open it up. Triangle, triangle, triangle. And loads of parts. So those are bits and like the lines and everything. And these triangles are like. They're just called triangles. I think that actually if you see look on the corner I think you'll no I think you'll have like a but the best way of showing it is probably so you just get a random node I don't really care and then get rid of that afterwards and then making a hilly corner making a hilly corner if you do that you can see you can see see the triangles look made at the right angles to make a smooth road well made it look smooth and I have to admit this plugin does live up to its name beautiful roads it, and it, it does it's really a bird's eye root view on this plugin it's pretty cool there's loads more plugins I have that are pretty cool. There's so many plugins that I have are pretty they're amazing and I'm not gonna show them in this video. But like there's some ones I don't really like. But some of them can be really hard. This is I love I love that plugin. I don't always use it all the time but it's quite helpful. Now place tree, you can like place a tree. I think if you something how do you place a tree? Import preset? No. Uh I'm just gonna allow I'll just do that. Uh load. Wait for save you. I don't know. Uh, just give me a honor, honor. I want to put a tree down. How did you do that? I can't remember how I did that. Like, do you click? Hey! Click it. Anyway, let's just get rid of those. It doesn't really matter. It's just quite interesting. Look, all these trees now. Yeah. So that's all really with the road. I haven't. We had a look at render options, I could do that, but that just looks really confusing. So, that's it, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see what we can do next time. Goodbye.